Hi guys, welcome to Extra Talk, another edition today with Sahbi. Hi guys. Hi Sahbi, how are you? Well. You good? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Well, I'm not good, man. Yeah, I know. Because honestly, we were supposed to talk today about, you mm -hmm. just saw the Eintracht game. Yeah. So I want to talk to you about the games that we played so far, your impressions on that one. But just let, let's skip that one for a minute and let's come to the most important topic. Don't even the Don't, yeah. Sad thing. I asked the people to bring me some tissue, but they didn't bring it yet. But what's your <laughs> feeling about it? Yeah, it's 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 so sad, man. It's he's it the kid of the club, um, one of the best midfielders uh, within Ajax. So bad, but I mean, we already knew he would be leaving us. Yeah, I know. so it's a reality. But check you always for us. hope, right? You always hope. As we a always fan. hope, but still, there, there's like one uh, one and a half month to go until the transfer deadline, and so. I already knew he would be leaving us, just like I think uh, Tiger Figo will leave us as well. So it's a reality check uh, for for all of us. It's a sad thing, but life goes on, and we need to go. We need to proceed with the players that we have. Uh, of course, I mean that's also one of the things of being, you know, a fan of Ajax. You know, yeah. that the good players sooner or later they will leave. Yeah. And we already knew also they had a gentleman's agreement with Doni, but also with Tiger Figo yeah. and, Onana. and Onana. Yeah. I just hope you know. I just hope not all of them will leave this summer. It would be a huge blow. All Definitely, them, yeah. Know? I would, I would, I would hate that. I would hate that. But as I said, we need to stay realistic. Uh, the chances will be uh, will be big that they will leave us. Uh, I mean, they they have their own wishes. They want to go to the to to, to the next level, next club, uh, a bigger club. So uh, the only thing that uh, could stop them is uh, by other clubs not coming to me, to them. But I don't see that. No, that's, see that. that's true. That's true because. Honestly, before we got the news, it, it's pretty fresh news. We're yeah. shooting on, on a Saturday evening, just yeah. right after the match of Eintracht. So the latest is that Manchester United is uh, in the running for him. Yeah. Um, Barcelona has been mentioned as well, but it's being denied mm -hmm. from, from there, from sources around uh, Barcelona. Do you think Manchester United is a good fit for Doni? I think so. I mean, uh, uh, English football would, uh, would suit him. He's a real box-to-box uh, -box player. He can run. He has uh, three lungs. Uh, he's doing his he, and, and and United are are moving ahead bit by bit. They have a strong midfield. I think he would suit in that midfield with the uh, uh, with the uh, Pogba and with uh, Bruno Fernandez. Bruno Fernandez. Yeah. I think it, it will be a good fit as right. long as not, as long as he's no top man. I will be more than happy. And if we look at Ajax, does it complicate our situation for this season? Do we have to go on the market and buy somebody, or do you think well? Actually, Ten Hag already a little bit anticipated on this one by perhaps putting promise on ten. Yeah, indirectly he already anticipated. We had uh, we, we bought Kudus who can play at ten. We have promise who can play at ten. Uh, we have Tavis who can play at ten. But still, I think we we would require a new midfielder, especially Marine uh, has left us, and we will probably yeah, leave. Uh, exactly. I mean, we started with Duni, but if we yeah. just look at this week, the last few days, actually, a lot of midfielders. A yeah. lot of midfielders. Uh, also today we heard about Aite probably yeah. uh, leaving as well. There's not yeah. a lot of playing time for him. Too um, bad. Too bad. Too bad too as bad, well. Indeed. And Marine, well, Marine has never really shown us what he's capable of. He yeah. Never fitted really in the squad. Um, exactly. And now he's on his way to Calgary. So, yeah, we're. I mean, it's going pretty fast now. You know, you just had your preparation last oh, yeah. week. We were still happy about everything. Everything was, you know, like yeah. the same, etc., exactly. etc. You can see how quick things can go. Indeed, indeed. Well, that's uh, that's uh, what football is. Eh? We uh, uh, and I think Ophemus already anticipated. That's why we bought uh, some players. We bought Anthony, uh, who would normally replace uh, Zia, who uh, who left us. Um, Kudus, who probably uh, bought to replace Doni. Uh, so actually, we need uh, to have a new uh, either left back or a central uh, uh, left-footed uh, defender, mm -hmm. and probably also a new goalkeeper if we. Uh, continue like this yeah if we continue like this we, we really have to but yeah the thing is also that if we going to sell those players that's what i'm a bit uh, afraid of to be honest is that the longer it takes to sell them the lesser time we have to find a replacement yeah. and when you come at the end of the transfer window you know, you know what happens right all the prices go up it becomes more difficult to get the players that you want so you go on number two number three number four on the list yeah true true but we already discussed that in previous uh extra talk Overmas is smart. He probably has an agreement with the players, with their agents, with a specific uh, deadline on when the transfers, mm -hmm. transfers would happen. Yeah. 
if if the deadline has been surpassed, then there will be no uh, transfer at all. I mean, Ofmas is quite strict uh, therein. Donny, uh, there's still one and a half month left, so uh, it's more than sufficient time for him to uh, to get that transfer. Yeah. And if uh, if clubs would be open to go for uh, WP Pico and Onana, uh, they have to act quickly. Uh, otherwise, uh, I think Ofmas will definitely stop uh, stop it and quit his phone and uh, and move it uh, elsewhere. Yeah, let's see how that unfolds. Um, it's yeah. still hard, you know, to process yeah, it. Yeah, definitely, man. It's, yeah. a, it's a huge blow. It's a huge blow for Ajax. I mean, he's one of the best players and one of the consistent Acad- active players. And, and everybody loves him. You know, yeah. that's the thing. Yeah. Everybody yeah. loves him. He's from he's from the academy, as you yeah. said. He, he came in. He's always been yeah. in the team. He always gave everything. Exactly. And he's the son that you like to have, etc., etc. But we just have to deal with it. And it is uh, with this, yeah. life goes on. And uh, unfortunately, and I hope he will be... Uh, we will be doing it good at, uh, in this next uh, adventure. Let's talk about something else, which is also not really a nice thing to talk about. Um, yeah. It happened mm-hmm. in the Hertha game, Glim. Yeah. Um, it's a it's a delicate topic because we don't know exactly. I mean, we have heard what happened yeah. a little bit, but they're waiting for test results. So we have to be wary what we're saying. But the only thing that I'm afraid of, I don't know how you look at it, but the thing is that I'm seriously questioning right now whether Glint can continue. That's my biggest fear at the moment. Exactly, mine as well. It's a uh, definitely a huge blow. I mean, it came out of out of nothing. We all thought that uh, the, that everything w- was okay after the the surgery, etc. The, 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 the like the, the box that they placed. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, the probability. So, yeah. but apparently, the, the, yeah, there's still there are still issues. So well, they're looking they're looking at exactly what happened, right? Because, yeah, but yeah, because it was there was the rhythm uh, rhythm of the heart was not there, so it gave a shock. Yeah, that we know. Yeah, true. But now they're doing tests, so they're waiting for the test results, and then we will know a little bit more about it. But you have to seriously consider the fact that maybe, um, but we have to wait and see because look, there is yeah. no way. Ajax can take the risk to jeopardize exactly. his health. How much risk do we need to take? How yeah. much risk, the risk does Ajax wants to take? We already have the experience of uh, Nuri. You know what happened. So do you want to do this all over again? Do you want to take that risk again uh, as a club? As a do you think? Do you think the club here has to be the one that has to say we're taking a stance right now for your be- exactly? Own? Yeah, okay. yeah, definitely, so, definitely. Because I think they're gonna give it to Blind. Blind has to be the adult yeah, in deciding that, what he wants to exactly, do. Exactly. Yeah, but as a club, you're you're the employer. You need to remain responsible for the player. You can't give that responsibility to him. That's not correct. You need to liaise with each other, discuss with each other. But at the end, they have to state what 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 they what's on their mind, and yeah. they they should not take any risk. So if it's unclear or there's still a small chance that this might happen again, they need to take action. All right. Um, let's get to yeah. the other uh, subject. I just want to have your view on, uh, which is a recurring thing, of course. We're still in the transfer window. Yeah. Looking at what we know right now. So we know that Duny is leaving. We know Marine is leaving. We yeah. know probably Iping is leaving. Yeah. Those are the three that we know. We don't know the situation about Blint, but it's a tricky one. Yeah. What should Overmars do? Should we should we get somebody? Should we get more players now? Well, we should uh, definitely anticipate on a midfielder. Uh, what oh, kind of midfielder? Well, that's what I want to say. More of a controlling or defensive midfielder because actually we only have one really defensive midfielder and that's Alvarez. Uh, I know a lot of people are not really happy with Alvarez. Uh, although well, he, not, although not, he played you know, yeah, a decent game. Look, it's not about the fact that we're not... I'm talking as well because yeah. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm one of the critics, right? I love Alvarez. I really love him as a player. But I don't think he fits on the midfield of Ajax. And I do understand I'm not saying it's a balance to Gravenberg because Gravenberg yeah, is much, much more attacking player yeah. than Alvarez. But we're pl- we're still playing friendlies. We're still playing against teams that are in the... We don't know how far they are in their, mm-hmm. uh, you know, like in the rhythm, etc. It's not really this... Even if he played okay, actually uh, against Eintracht, he was one of the good players mm-hmm. um, on yeah. the midfield. True. But still, I'm not convinced for the Champions League games. Look, in the Eredivisie, it would work, I think. But Champions yeah. League, it's a no, it's okay. a, it's a different but league. With the players that we have mm-hmm. now in our squad, who do you think would suit better on his position? Well, the thing is now that Martinez played, in a, you know, instead of Blind. Yeah, so that Tanak, was the situation. Yeah, Tanak but doesn't see him as a midfielder. So who? Yeah, do you well, think? I disagree. Yeah, okay, but who do you think now as a midfielder? 
uh, who do you think should take over his position, excluding Martinez? Martinez. Because uh, Martinez will be a no-go. I don't see anybody, so maybe you have somebody no, in mind. No, 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 because uh, even if I would, uh, the first name that comes up is uh, Kudus, but Kudus is a more attacking player more as well. attacking, indeed. So it won't help. But Exactly, and that's but, why he's playing. Yeah, but and that's not the right, I don't think that's the right way to go. I understand exactly. what and you're saying. And that's why I'm thinking about a new midfielder that yeah. we need to have, and, and that should be a player. A holding that, midfielder. A holding midfielder or a defensive, even because Havda will be the holding midfielder. Uh, more a defensive. But he will be more box to box, right? Yeah, box to box as, as as a number uh, number eight. Yeah, like a, a real number six, uh, which Oliver is not playing at. Mm -hmm. That should be another player. Okay, I agree with that. We don't have a better player than Alvarez in the squad right now. So the one that we should buy should be the one who could who, who should mm -hmm. get in at once and not giving him time to adapt. He should be a starter at once. So it's a very difficult to get such such player. It will cost a lot. Uh, and, and the longer you wait, the more difficult it gets. Exactly. As well. So we need to act quickly. Otherwise, we will have to deal with Alvarez uh, for the first uh, uh, six months. All right. And except for the for the defensive midfielder position, yeah. is there another position? Yeah. I mean, we talked about uh, Blind uh, and the fact that perhaps Tagliafico will leave us. Um, the left side. The left side. So we need, definitely need the left uh, center back because we don't have any other. Yeah. So Lahadin also got injured. Yeah. In the youth. Unfortunately, yeah. we only have Nico. Uh, at this moment, there's no other left back. Martinez Tenab, was actually Tenab was sees him as a as substitute. probably as a substitute yeah. for Nico when he leaves. Yeah, but we don't have like a, a real backup for Daly, for example. Well, we as, had uh, the thing is we had Botman and then yeah, Botman yeah, left, exactly. and we have of course we have Wrench who, 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 who Wrench who played, we have Wrench exactly, well, but he's still young and he needs to uh, develop a bit more. He needs to show himself uh, at uh, young Ajax. To, uh, Does he to gain more experience? Can he, can he be brought like the same what happened to Des last year? It's it's possible, of course, it's possible. But then we have two young players at the center. Uh, I don't think that will be. Uh, that what will, do you mean to do? Young well, players? you have Which Sturz, We have Sturz, who's, uh, uh, who's, who's yeah. young. Okay. You will get Rens, who's also young. So I don't think that will uh, go uh, that well. Well, Den Haag also said that maybe they can put Masri on the left side, or Des. Yeah, no. I mean, the, their position is like a, is a right but back. But Den really said that, so yeah, he's thinking well, he about it. Yeah, he might saying that, but I don't agree with him. <laughs> so <laughs> that's right. it. Yeah, that's clear. I mean, uh, okay, that's not their natural position. So but attacking wise, we're good. According attacking to wise, there's no issue at all. All right, no, no good. Indeed. We have a lot of possibilities. Mm -hmm. uh, Anthony can play right forward, left forward. We have Tadis who could play as a, a left winger or as a striker. We have Traore. Uh, we have. Promise who can play as 10. So we have a lot of flavors. Good. Last question from my side. Last thing I wanted to talk to you about. So we had seven games so far in the preseason. Yeah. Tomorrow they will play against Union Berlin. Uh, but I want to know up till now, um, what stood out for you? What's your opinion about certain players? What do you want to share with us? Well, we got a perfect score. That's one thing. Mm -hmm. we, we played pretty well. Uh, the build-up is nice. The condition, they're they're in perfect condition. Uh, Do you think we're growing as a team? We're growing as definitely as a team. A lot of youth players uh, came in. We could we could see some players uh, uh, playing very well. We saw uh, Wrench, uh, which we uh, discussed. There was Timber. Yeah, those, you, those youth players that Taylor's are coming in are, are really matching a little bit. Yeah, the, they're they're, they're, they're the level. smelling they're smelling the the level of ice, which is a good thing. And uh, uh, most likely they will. Coming in in the second part of the season, which uh, yeah, it's most likely uh, the thing. Uh, the thing that we are very lucky at, and in comparison with last seasons, is we don't have to play qualifying, qualifying. rounds. So sure. we have a lot of time to prepare. We could play a lot of uh, uh, friendly matches, uh, which means that once we start with the league, we are, we have fresh legs. We 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 got in common with each other. Uh, this, this will be real, to be a real team. Yeah, but I have to make one point yeah. uh, regarding that, and that's the thing that worries me a little bit. Look, we had all the whole preparation is almost finalized because in two weeks' time we will play against Sparta, our first uh, mm -hmm. league game. So, anyone that you would buy now or first sell and then buy, he would have missed the whole preparation. Yeah, true. So the team, so he has to get adapted to the team chemistry of it, you know, and that's that, that's the thing. That's the thing. Yeah, but it's the only bad thing that could uh, that could happen. And that can continue all the way up to the first week of October. True, 
true, but if if it's a if it's a good player, and just to remind you, you we're playing cha- we're playing Champions League in October. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, no. Of course, I, uh, that uh, that's what I said. Is that's the only bad thing. If we would get a player who would uh, get into the, to the first squad at once, it should be a good player. So hopefully, it wouldn't get him too much time to adapt. But it's it's a risk. But it's but also no difficult. Other, look, it's no also other possibility. Yeah, I it's mean, also uh, difficult for Overmars. He cannot just start buying players without knowing for sure that players are leaving, right? Definitely. But now he has to already know that he should buy a midfielder, for instance, with Doni. Yeah, Doni leaving as well. But I know, leaving. I know he has a, a list. So okay. Okay. most likely, uh, he knows Doni. Well, I mean, this is a new that just came in. He could anticipate but on this one. I think this was already known for him like days ago, uh, maybe even a week ago. Mm-hmm. So he had time to well, actually, adjust. Actually, if, um, against the Hertha game, he was interviewed and he said, well, there is one player there is a lot of interest for. And yep. probably now we know, in hindsight, Most likely, it was Donny. Donny. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so he was already uh, aware. aware of it. He was yeah. already aware. And there, and if he's, if he's done his, own, his homework, he would already contact maybe the other player who he wants to buy Maybe and already started it, the yeah, whole thing. Yeah, like yeah. okay, if the transfer would move on, you will be my player. Yeah, and uh, it might go very fast. Well, we have to wait and see, right? Yeah, sure. right. Thank you for being here, that guys. Helps. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for next week. We have a special surprise for you. See you then. <laughs>